Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I have a bit of a quick cheats project, kind of. Um, I'm bringing you the takeout boxes, which um, they were in the Christmas catalogue and I didn't feature them at all, although I did buy them. Um, and then they have made their way over to the spring summer catalogue, which is coming out any day now. And at the point of time when I was prepping this, I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wrote down my list of all the projects I had to do and when I had to do them for and whether I could use... Um, sneak peeks or not and I very carefully kind of put aside that this one was going to come out after the date of the pre uh, after the launch date and then I got it wrong so I've had to change my project but I wanted to show you this anyway and I actually wanted to show you the rose again now this is one I did oh good year plus ago so I'm going to show you how to make that and I actually just show you the gorgeousness of the box I am going to show you a little sneak peek though anyway I'm going to bring the box in in a second. What I wanted to do was show you how to make the rose. So you need a length of ribbon. And I'm kind of going with what I call a yardish. It's from the length of my nose. And my arm as far stretched out as I possibly can. I know that there are lots of ladies who work in yardish. It is um, that kind of measurement. So you start with your piece of ribbon. And you fold it at a right angle. Like that fold it at a right angle and then you take this bit and fold that over and at a right angle again. So we've now got a point and you use your fingers there, I'm gripping it there, take this bit, fold it over and you just keep turning round and doing it over and over again and you will end up with about four layers so you just keep turning Turn it over, and another one, and it's quite therapeutic this, and you, you have to keep the space, there is a little hole in the middle, I will wiggle and get that to appear in a second, but that's actually where we're going to feed this through. Um, and when I did the project, like I said it was about 18 months ago. I think it was maybe August or September last year. I have been making these for donkey's years, maybe 10 years or so. I remember seeing these being demonstrated. My eldest son was a baby in a pram at the time. Um, but yeah, when I did it about 18 months ago, I did it with a burlap ribbon, which is gorgeous. So I've got four layers there, four there, four there. This final one is my fourth. So I've got four layers there. I'm just going to undo that one, actually, because I want a little bit of extra length. So, you can't see it, but there is a hole there. So I'm going to get my bone folder and just wiggle so you can see that that goes all the way through. And I'm going to feed this bit of ribbon. I'm going to fold it over on itself. So, same sort of way as we did before. And just feed it through that hole. Which I can't see right now. <laughs> my hole's gone busy. Very much one for feel. There we go. I can see. I can see it. You probably can't, but I can see my fingernail peeping through. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The hole got too small. It's normally. I promise you, it's much easier than this. There it is. Okay. Let's just fold that bit back again. So you've pulled it through, pull it until you get that sort of conical shape and then you twist it. So I'm going to twist and as you twist, relax your hold on your bunches, your layers. So I'm just, I'm not holding them tightly, just quite relaxed and it twists itself up and around. Isn't that pretty? And then you're left with long lengths, so you just tie a knot, knot, bow, whatever you can. You know me, can't talk, tie very much. And that is my rose. Isn't that pretty? It's just a spiral, obviously this is stripy, but you could do it with plain ribbon, you could do it. It works very well with the florist's ribbon, the stuff that you can split, you can split it down the length. So I'm going to hang on to that for a minute and I'm going to keep the lengths 
I'm going to bring in my takeout box because I want to show you these. And you get, oh, how many did you get? You get six in the packet. You can see I didn't use any of them. And you just kind of gently fold your score lines because actually some of it's coming, some of it's folding in one direction and some of it is folding in another direction. Because by the fact that it's a takeout box, these ones are folding out. And we've got little slits already made. So they just pop in there. This is the ultimate adhesive free box. Um, and do you know, I'd love to be able to make one of these with the Simply Scored, but actually by the fact that we've got, um, the, the they're not parallel, the, the box sides. I can't work out how to do it without, you know, bringing, you know, expecting everybody to bring out rulers and, you know, the likes of that. So I can't think how to do it. I probably will eventually come up with something one day. So put your goodies in, look, you can fit tons in there. Hold these over. This hooked part comes through the inside and goes around like that. We don't have these kind of takeout boxes in the UK. Oops. Um, yeah, we don't have anything like this here in the UK. We get plastic tubs. Not very nice. So, right, I've got in my hair left over right, right over left. I'm getting better with the whole bow thing, knot thing. See? Nothing else to laugh at me now. <laughs> Taking all the laughter away, because I can tie a knot. Oh well. Okay, right, and I'm going to get my glue dots, because, you know, the question is, how do you stick this on? Well, I kind of like the fact that it's semi-temporary, but I want to be in charge of where my adhesive goes. And I found that sticky strip doesn't stick well enough. It's despite the fact that it is crazy strong and that yes, I could stick small children and animals to the ceiling with the stuff. It doesn't like being stuck to fabric. Whereas mini glue dots, they're like, yeah, I'll stick to anything. I'm not shy, I'll stick to anything at all. So I have found that sticking a, a handful of mini glue dots to there means that this little chappy is going to stick it. He's not going anywhere. No movement whatsoever. And then I kind of like that actually you get four little tag parts. Let's just trim that one down a bit more. There we go. And that's quite sweet. And then some of the gorgeous gold sequins. Drape them round. Doesn't have to be fancy. I'm kind of liking this sort of drapey look trim off and that is my quick box okay it's really just an excuse to make the bow to make the rose so I stuck it on a box but actually the videos really is just about the box about the bow anyway thank you very much for joining me in a couple of days time I will be able to show you me in action using the new products see you then bye